Hello again, I'm Pastor David, and it's my joy now to bring you the children's sermon. So if you have children or youth who are nearby and not yet watching the video, now's a great time to call them over because I've got some things to share with them. Hey guys, uh, have you ever gone fishing? Oh, okay, I see several of you have. Well, here's a more important question. Did you ever catch a fish? Okay, I'm not seeing quite as many hands as some of the adults put their hands down too. Hmm. Well, you know, in order to catch fish, you have to use bait of some sort. Uh, I have a couple of baits here with me today. Um, for example, um, here is an artificial worm. It's made out of plastic and it wiggles like a, a real worm. Now, um, here also, I've got a lure that looks like a small fish. Uh, well, except for the hook hanging off the back end, but the front part of it actually looks like a small fish. And here's a lure that actually in the water makes a lot of noise. This little thing spins around and it churns up the water and makes a lot of noise while you're fishing. Now, if, if you're hungry, doesn't that look good? I mean, don't you just want to bite down on that? No? Yeah, well, maybe not. Um, well, um, how, about, how about this, uh, this artificial worm? Now, it looks tasty, doesn't it? Here, let's see. Mmm, yum, that really tastes good. <laughs> ha, gotcha. I fooled you, didn't I? Yeah, what I just ate was not the plastic worm. It was a candy gummy worm. Here's the one I really held up. So, just fooling. <laughs> well, the reason that these fish baits don't look tasty to us is actually very simple. We're not fish, <laughs> even though we went to school. But when a fish sees one of these, it looks like something really tasty and the fish is tempted to just take a bite and eat it. And of course then the fish gets hooked. There you can see the hook at the back of that bait. The fish gets hooked and caught. Well, today we're actually thinking about temptation. Temptation is when something looks good, but it's actually really bad for us. The fish is tempted to eat the bait because it looks good to the fish, but the fish gets caught instead. Now, maybe you're tempted sometimes. Maybe you're tempted to disobey parents by doing something that they told you not to do. Or maybe you didn't study for a spelling test and it's so tempting to look on somebody else's paper and hope that you get away with it. Maybe you saw something in a store that you really wanted, but you didn't have enough money to buy it, and so you just slipped it into your pocket anyway. Well, in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus teaches us to pray for God to help us to avoid temptation. So if you're tempted to do something that you know is wrong, pray that God will help you to avoid the temptation. And then you won't be like a fish and get caught. Let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you for the children and youth of our church and community and all those watching this video. We pray your blessings on them and on their parents and their families. Help us, Lord, when we're tempted. Help us to resist the temptation so we don't get caught. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 